the way. Mitchell swings. This one's corked into right field. Warning track wall, and it's out of here. As Blake Mitchell tallies a solo shot with two outs. As Mitchell has another home run, his second of the week. Blake Mitchell, how do you do? Second home run of the night. 1-1, he blasts this one into the nighttime sky and right. And Mitchell has his second home run. That's his eighth of the season. And Columbia now has gotten one back. It is 13-5. Mitchell with a multiple home run game. Another run back. Wave is sent, delivers, and that's line down the right field line. On the run is Cruz. He'll look up, and it is gone. A home run for Alvarez. A three-run shot. Oh, is he back? Alvy goes yard, and it's five nothing ponies in the second. A lot of fun stuff coming to Bay Air Ballpark tomorrow. Jordan Viers ropes the first pitch of the third, deep out to right, and on to the berm. Fastball hammered high and deep again out to right field. Kiss it, goodbye. And his second homer of the game travels even further than the first one. And Viers lifts a high fly ball deep out to right field. Is it gone? Yes, it is. Hard line drive out to left field. That's going to fall in for a base hit. OBI number nine for Jordan Byers. One of them for strikes. It was 70 and 50 last time, and Cruz builds that one deep in a left field. Track wall, goodbye. So just like that, new pitcher in Harrisburg's on the board, and it's Dylan Cruz with a solo homer that makes it a 7-1 game in the seventh. for Cruz's fourth of the year, RBI number 29. And the LSU superstar makes his mark at Marabito Stadium. They're not playing him to pull quite so extreme. There's a high fly ball into deep right field. This ball is way back. This ball is gone. Milkar Perez to the back of the back porch. And he drives one into the right center gap. Back goes Lasco, reaching up. This ball is gone. Back-to-back -back jacks for the Modesto Nuts. Farmelo goes yard. There's a fly ball to deep right field. This ball is way back. Back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back jacks. Perez, Farmelo, Arroyo. Here's the pitch. Swing a high fly ball hit deep to right. Town goes back. He's looking up. It is. This one ripped down the right field line. Will it stay fair back in the corner? It's gone, a grand slam! Right down the right field line, Justin Crawford keeps it fair by just a few feet for his third home run of the season, and the Blue Claws are right back in it. Brooklyn's lead is eight to five. So a three-hit game for Crawford. Here's Isaac Pacheco. Checo sends one on a ride to left field. Gone! Pacheco adds a solo blast. IP goes deep. We're tied at one. Another one, two. Swings and crushes. Deep right field. Out of here! Isaac Pacheco, a two homer game. IP goes deep yet again. Just watch it a little bit. A little bend at the waist and then a point to the bullpen. No balls, two strikes, one out here in the top of the third. Whiting back on the rubber, high leg kick. Deals and that one is crushed. High and deep to the sky, to the moon and right. That baseball is gone. It's a solo dinger for Jose De Paula. Rancho Cucamonga extend their lead two to nothing as he hits a bomb right above the ad monster in right field. Rancho take the two nothing lead here in the top of the third. The three two pitch, swing and a miss. 97 up and away from Matt. We're off and running on a Thursday night and the Brewers top pitching prospect doing exactly 
one he's done almost all season long. Beautiful pitching and a couple of strikeouts. Now the pitch. Swing and a miss. Deftly slider at 89 off the outside corner. McIntosh goes fishing. One, two pitch. Called strike three. 96 on the outside corner. Zarowski delivers. Caballero swings and misses and it gets Mizorowski out of the inning. One and two pitch and Teal sprays it the other way, beats the shift on a grounder to third. He'll stop with a single at first base. The one and two, swung on and served into left field, charging in, it drops for a base hit in front of Dustin Peterson. Runner stops at second, two base hits tonight for Kyle Teal. Here now is a two and two, swung on and lined into center field, that's down for a base hit. Tres Gonzalez up with it on two hops, his throw goes towards second and Marcelo Meyer crosses home. It's an RBI single for Kyle Teal. Here's Harrington's two and two, swung on and driven to left. Back goes Peterson, he's looking up and it's out of here. Into the bleachers, a two run homer for Nick York, it is his fourth of the year and Portland leads it 3-0 in the top of the first inning. It's an off-speed pitch there from Thomas Harrington hanging up in the strike zone. Okay, her is 23-year-old from Fayetteville, North Carolina. 3-2 pitch, off-speed, and in there for a called strike three. Hers whips in the pitch, swing and a miss. It is swung on and missed, and Hers strikes out the side. Fastball at the knees, the pitch, swing and a miss. Six strikeouts now for Hers. Kicks and fires. Fastball called strike three. Two strike pitch. Severino strikes out. Hers delivers. Check swing and a miss. Payoff again. Swing and a miss. Tenth strikeout. Quite a day from DJ. The 3 2 is hit the deep left. See you later. See you later. He hits his own picture on the mess in the message center and the uh, scoreboard out there. Nailed his picture right in the face. And now all five of his home runs have come on the road. And again, Webb, the Mudhens fall behind 3-0 in the first inning, back-to-back -back days. Yeah, well, it was a bad call yesterday. Today it's a play that was missed. And so a 3-0, Frail Rider lead. 394 feet. A one pitch. He's driven in the left center field gap and over is Outman diving to make the catch. James Outman saves extra bases, taking away a hit from Sam Hilliard. The 2-2. Hit in the air to deep left center field. Back goes Stovall. He's on the warning track. He turns to watch and it is gone. James Outman, an opposite field two-run homer, has given Oklahoma City a 3-0 lead.